Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the SVC host is experiencing high memory and CPU usage on your device. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening the start menu, type in services. Best result, check on back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and left click on that. I'm going to make this page a little wider here. You want to first locate the diagnostic service host. So locate that here. And double click on it. Set start type to disabled and if service status is running, select stop. And then select apply and okay. Look for sysmain, S-Y-S-M-A-I-N. right here. Double click on it. Used to be called Superfetch if anybody was familiar with that. And we're going to set startup type to disabled and we're going to stop that as well. Select apply and OK. Once that's also done, go down to Windows Update and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic and if service status is stopped, you want to start it. If you can't start it, that's OK. Just set it to automatic and then when the computer restarts, it will be running. And then also go back up to Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on that. Startup type should be automatic as well as running. So once you've done that, hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. Click on close, close out of here, and restart your computer. And then once you've restarted your computer, go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best result, should go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Select additional troubleshooters from the right panel. And then underneath get up and running, select Windows Update, resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows, and select run the troubleshooter.
And once it's done, close out of here. Go ahead and restart your computer, and then hopefully your problem should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.